Good evening. Today's devotional for Our High Calling is entitled, Proper Level of the Human Mind. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. James 4 verse 10. What gives the proper level to the human mind? It is the cross of Calvary. By looking unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith, all the desire for self-glorification is laid in the dust. There comes, as we see aright, a spirit of self-abasement that promotes lowliness and humbleness of mind. As we contemplate the cross, we are enabled to see the wonderful provision it has brought to every believer. God in Christ is seen aright, will level human exaltation and pride. There will be no self-exaltation, but there will be true humility. The light reflected from the cross of Calvary will humble every proud thought. Those who seek God with all the heart and accept the great salvation offered them will open the door of the heart to Jesus. They will cease to ascribe glory to themselves. They will not pride themselves on their requirements or take credit to themselves for their capabilities, but will regard all their talents as God's gifts to be used to His glory. Every intellectual ability they will regard as precious only as it can be used in the service of Christ. Christ's humiliation in clothing his divinity with humanity is worthy of our consideration. Had this subject been studied as carefully as it should have been, there would be far less of I heard and far more of Christ. It is self-esteem that stands between the human agent and his God and impedes the vital current that flows from Christ to enrich every human being. When we follow Jesus in the path of self-denial and the cross, we shall find that we do not have to strive for humility. As we walk in Christ's footsteps, we shall learn his meekness and lowliness of heart. Very few thoughts should be devoted to self, for we can never make ourselves great. It is Christ's gentleness that makes us great. God's faithful, humble, believing people will cut the idolatry of self out of their hearts, and Christ will become all in all. May God continue to bless us today as we grow in Him.